Bruce Marriott here. I live on a property here, uh, Dilga. Uh, about 3,000 acres here. And we have this exclusion fence um, behind me here. Uh, it was helped, um, funded a little bit by the LLS to get us started, a group of about five farmers got together and, and um, yeah, did, did our boundary with the, the scrub behind us. We're getting a lot of pressure in these um, paddocks joining the scrub here. The paddocks were eaten down to the ground, you know, halfway down, like a, you know, like three quarters of a kilometre from the from the scrub, they'd be just bare. Yeah, one of the main pests that, that uh, really helped stop is the um, the wild pigs that we were having here, uh, coming out of, the, out of the bush from behind here and onto the land here. and just you know, ploughing up country and that, so it just like just stop them dead. But it's not a sign, then they just don't not getting through at all. Yeah, we found it was very important to get your to get or get our neighbours um, involved in in uh, doing the exclusion fencing. Um, otherwise, you'd be just stopping your patch of uh, roos, but then all the roos and, and pigs and other things will be coming around from the sides, my other side, and sort of never win the battle against them. Yeah, I think it's very important that uh, having these meetings where you get groups of people together and, and um, just putting your ideas across, to, you know, some of the, some of the experience that you have with putting the fences up and, and hearing what some other people, what their ideas are. So sometimes you, you don't know all the, how what everything works and that. So it's, yeah, it's good to, to uh, speak to others and have these meetings.